What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're continuing on our Hail Caesar faction review series and we're moving right along to the Sarmatians. So roughly 2nd century BC through 3rd century AD. And here, if you're not too familiar with uh, what the Sarmatians are all about, um, certainly look up the Dacian Wars, um, the Alani, the Seracis, or Seracis, um, the Alani, Roxolani, and uh, Iaziges, I think is how we'd say that. But um, long story short, for game purposes, uh, if you like cavalry, then this is going to be the army for you, specifically like heavy cavalry. Um, so, and this is really the heaviest of the heaviest. So, uh, what are we getting at here? We're talking about uh, cataphracts uh, in many, many uh, or large quantities here. So, uh, as we said, this is a cavalry focused list in contrast to the mostly infantry based list that we've been dealing with. So 75% um, or more of the units in the army will be cavalry. And of those, 50% uh, have to be heavy cavalry and or cataphracts, or, or cataphracts, I should say. Um, so basically you're super heavy uh, ca uh, cavalry if you want to go the cataphract route. And then the remainder is certainly infantry. So there's no other really uh, weird quirks or anything about the list. It's basically just uh, taking that typically infantry heavy list and flipping it on its, on its head basically and this is again cavalry focused division wise uh, pretty standard there nothing um, out of the ordinary so let's jump into the list here it's not a very long one um, and that's again just because we're focused on uh, delivering a couple of basically heavy or cataphract type cavalry units to people uh, or sorry the uh, the opponent and then following up with a little bit of infantry that we do have available so starting off Heavy cavalry with contos and bows, guys. Um, what a combination. So um, basically about as offensive as you can get um, with uh, for, for, for close combat purposes with the contos and then still having a little bit of long-range ability with uh, the bows too, which is just bonkers. So Clash of Nine does drop quite a bit to six there. Um, pretty typical, but you get that heavy cavalry morale save and then some excellent sh uh, short and slash long-range ability there, although the long range is just a one, but hey, it's still long range. 34 points a pop there. Um, if we want to, we can upgrade them to cataphracts for an additional point. And then uh, if we wanted to, we could also make any of those cataphracts eager. So uh, for free. So just keep that in mind. But then um, we could give any of those flavors of the above units also frenzied charge. So let that sink in as well. So any and all units of that uh, uh, that we just listed above there for three extra points. Um, so, you know, just having that in quantity, um, uh, you know, eager and or fr frenzy charge is, is pretty bonkers there, guys. Um, so, again, you're going to deliver unit after unit after unit of that to the opponent, um, and really you're going to just smash them in the face with that. That being said, though, um, we can also bring in some medium cavalry, just uh, quite a bit cheaper on the point side there. So with spears and or javelins and bows. So, again, you have sort of a... Um, multi-function cavalry unit here. So they still hit pretty hard. They're still medium cavalry. Um, again, we could go uh, upgrade routes as far as eager and frenzy charge, similar to what we just did above. But, um, you know, we're starting out here at a much, um, again, cheaper, doesn't seem like much, but, you know, 29 points versus 37 fully upgraded there um, on the other side. Uh, but then we could upgrade into 32 points if we're going the frenzy charge route. And again, these guys, um, uh, are also given a, uh, a long range of two um, as well, guys. So pretty uh, significant there. So again, you have a mobile hard-hitting force here that can also dish out um, uh, range. So again, this is not a huge list, but practically every unit in the army has long range. So this uh, will take some getting used to and sort of fine-tuning your tactics around that. But um, something that the opponent is probably not going to expect the first time you play them. And certainly you... Um, uh, you know, you can uh, get some surprise um, uh, shots in there before, you know, you get those charges home and stuff. Um, we do also have light cavalry, and they're not bad either. Um, so with bows and javelins as small units, so again, in quantity, uh, again, just keep in mind, uh, half of our cavalry is heavy cavalry uh, or and or cataphract there. Um, the rest, uh, still really good stuff between the medium and the light here, but nonetheless. So these small units that also still have a long range of two, and nothing else special about them. There's no upgrade paths or anything like that. But that is the cavalry arm of the army. So um, just bonkers overall. Um, again, just hitting really hard, great armor on the heavy side. And um, then just the fact that they can do uh, what they do on the long range department as well. 
let's jump into the little bit of infantry that there are. So there's basically levy spearmen, medium infantry with spears and or javelins. Um, fortunately, or um, uh, uh, perhaps unfortunately, um, you know, everything on the infantry, infantry side is basically levies. Um, but nonetheless, um, you could go 100% cavalry in this list, uh, but you could bring in some infantry if you want. And it just depends on your play style or what you want to uh, accomplish here. So certainly if you go all cavalry, uh, it's basically um, sort of balls to the wall here and just uh, uh, get those charges off and just wreck face uh, against uh, the enemy. But the infantry um, certainly lets you field some pretty cheap blocks of dudes here just uh, because your cavalry is going to be so many points, right? So um, you certainly um, could use the sort of activations and um, orders uh, or um, basically having more orders uh, or more things to order around, essentially. So uh, And sometimes just a block of infantry is a nice distraction, if nothing else. But, you know, in a pinch, they can do some damage, too. So uh, Levy Spearmen, anyway, here. So typical medium infantry stat line. Um, nothing special about them. Just, you know, again, levies. Um, we do have also... Uh, medium infantry archers so up to one per spearman unit basically so um if you do want to get that sort of 25 percent of the list uh, focus on infantry uh, again you can still get blocks of um, uh, long range ability here so basically you take a, a spearman unit and then follow it up with a archer unit um, and they're throwing three dice at long range so good stuff there again albeit as levies um, you could uh, let's see reduction to field levy archers as light infantry um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty solid, uh, point decrease. You do keep, um, the long range of three, which is really what these guys should be focused on. So in that sense, um, having a, a discounted archery unit at still regular size, um, is pretty solid. And then you could also field light infantry archers as small units. So basically sort of a, a double, um, reduction here, a nine point reduction. Um, and, you know, honestly for, uh, what is that? Uh, nine points. So, uh, 12 points total having small unit archers that are still throwing twos might not be bad just to, you know, depending on, um, again, how large of a game you're playing and what kind of space you need. Um, and just making sure that your units do all have viable, uh, paths for movement and charging and shooting lanes and all that fun stuff. Um, that could be an option there. And then lastly, we do have one sort of skirmisher option here, basically your, your bog standard small unit, uh, javelin skirmisher unit, although it is just a one of, so, um, you know, um, depending on where you can fit that in, maybe take it, but it doesn't seem like it's ultimately all that necessary. Um, I mean, there's only so much one small unit could screen really, uh, or do work with. And really, I think this list again is just about the, uh, the cavalry side, right? We're going to, we're going to charge in, we're going to throw a, a chunk of dice and just start punching holes in the opponent and start forcing break tests, if not outright, just destroying units. And then to finish up here, the commander side. So leadership eight across the board. So nothing special. Um, you know, we're not hampered with leadership seven and really, um, no uh, major uh, leader or general of note that would essentially justify leadership nine. So uh, leadership eight will do in most cases. Um, you know, this is, again, being an all cavalry list is going to flavor some aggressive um, play style here. But, um, you know, you still need to be smart with your orders, um, getting cavalry out of position um, to where they will get uh, potentially countercharged by things that will tar pit them down. And then, um, you know, once, once, uh, these cavalry units are kind of stuck and locked in place. Um, again, that that huge drop off from the clash value down to the sustained is going to be pretty rough, um, and you're not always going to be able to fight your way out of um, long term engagements here. So, um, and morale save isn't always going to save you either. So that stamina damage will start piling up, and then you might be testing as well. So. Um, so overall, again, uh, you want to t uh, time your charges. Use the fact that you have so much. Um, uh, ranged firepower in this list, which again, it just seems weird to say, um, cause it's also so much about just charging home with cavalry, but you do have a fair bit of ranged here. Um, so certainly piling on some early damage and then really, um, charging those units that have accumulated some, um, damage already and just, you know, trying to finish them as fast as possible. If you can break through with a couple of heavy cavalry or cataphract units, uh, into opponents like flanks or rear or you know, back lines or something like that, you're, you're going to have a good day for the most part. But, um, if you, uh, really don't get that, the right kind of charges home, it's going to be a long day for you. And, you know, if the opponent can weather that storm, uh, and, uh, you know, or, 
also if you know the dice of course are going horribly um, you know this this list is, uh, is not gonna excel there so you need to be able to be charging throwing that uh, that nice chunk of dice and um, doing that work and punching through units basically start removing things if possible from the opponent's side um, and you know again uh, flank charges uh, and rear charges uh, if you can manage them with your any of your cavalry but especially especially that heavy and uh, cataphract cavalry uh, it's it's going to be a bad day for the opponent when those things happen so um, anyway let us know guys if you have played Sarmatians um, what have your experiences been if you're running this out of Hail Caesar um, if you played against them what have your tactics been to deal with them if you're playing you know like period specific um, or somewhat historical opponents for them how have you managed to deal with them uh, be happy to hear about it in the comments, guys. Uh, let us know, uh, again, uh, your experiences uh, for and or against with these guys. Um, and, th again, thanks so much for stopping by. Um, you know, And if you do want to support the channel, of course, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you really want to support us even more, there's a link in the description, guys. If you head over to Warlord, pick up anything there via that link um, on their web store. Um, that helps support the channel as well. So thanks again so much for stopping by. We will see you in the next one.